Hey guys, in this example we're given two views in first angle orthographic projection. We're asked to draw the bottom view which implies we've been given a right side view and front view. Drawing these views to a scale of 1 to 2 means that we should halve the dimensions given. I'm drawing the right side view on the left hand side and the front view on the right hand side of my paper. I'm also ensuring that the features on both of these views match up. To draw my bottom view, I project the biggest dimensions from my front view first. Then I construct a 45 degree line to my front view so that I can project the biggest dimensions from my right side view to meet the first two lines that I drew. The projection lines are rotated horizontally about the 45 degree line. I can now draw in construction lines for the center lines of each view so that it's easier to draw in my circle. I then measure the radius of 20 millimeters on my set square and construct a circle. I use my razor shield to neaten it up. Now I draw in construction lines in from my front and right side view to be able to draw the cylindrical feature on the bottom view. You can use stencils for standard size circles, such as this one. I used a 17mm diameter circle stencil. I matched up the circle stencil with the construction lines that I drew in earlier. Lastly, I draw in the cutout feature by following the same method. This is the object in 3D. Note that the dimensions referring to the inner circle is a radius, r, as it is incomplete, whilst the outer circle is complete and can therefore be dimensioned with a diameter symbol. 